In this video, we will go through a brief introduction to multi-heart processing architectures, including symmetric multiprocessing, SMP, and asymmetric multiprocessing, AMP. In a symmetric multiprocessing architecture, all hearts are treated equally. We have a single instance of an OS or one kernel running across multiple hearts. These hearts have access to a shared memory area. The operating system is in charge of distributing tasks across these hearts. In the image on the right, we have an example of an SMP architecture where hearts 1, 2, 3, and 4 are running Linux in SMP mode. In an asymmetric multiprocessing architecture, hearts may run a different operating system or bare metal applications. In terms of memory, each heart has its own address space. There may also be some shared memory with other hearts. This type of architecture requires an additional mechanism to achieve inter-heart communication. Specifically, it needs an inter-heart communication subsystem and a multi-heart software framework. In AMP, a heart or a group of hearts running an independent instance of an operating system is called a software context. In the image on the right, we have an example of an AMP architecture with two software contexts. The first context, running Linux in SMP mode from hearts 1, 2, and 3. The second context, running a bare metal or a real-time operating system on heart 4. In terms of memory, each of the software contexts have their own memory area, and there is also a shared memory area for inter-heart communication. Now it's time to have a closer look at the AMP architecture on PolarFire SoC. There's one RISC-V E51 monitor heart dedicated to run the heart software services, also known as the HSS. There are also four RISC-V U54 application hearts. We can distribute peripherals and map different operating systems among these hearts. PolarFire SoC supports two software contexts. For example, we can have an AMP configuration with Linux running in the first context and a bare metal or a real-time operating system running on the second context. Or we can have an AMP configuration with a bare metal or real-time operating system running in the first context and another bare metal or real-time operating system running in the second context. In terms of inter-heart communication, PolarFire SoC uses an inter-heart communication subsystem available in the FPGA fabric. The multi-core software framework used by PolarFire SoC is the Remote Processor Messaging or RP message framework. This framework is used to send and receive messages between software contexts in an AMP system. PolarFire SoC supports the RP Message Linux framework for Linux-based software contexts and the RP Message Lite framework for real-time operating systems and bare metal contexts. The RP Message framework provides a user application programming interface to communicate between software contexts. For more information on inter-heart communication or the RP message framework on PolarFire SoC, please refer to the PolarFire SoC AMP documentation on GitHub. The link is provided in the description below.